Hello and welcome to video 6 in my Q&A series for AS and A2 level biology. This video has been requested by Hesh and also Pauline and this is the Hardy-Weinberg principle and equation. Remember if you've got a question that you'd like answering or a concept that you'd like explaining you can email me at biologybyjp at gmail.com. Let's have a look at Hardy-Weinberg then. We're going to look at the principle. We're going to look at the assumptions that that principle relies upon. We're going to look at the equation itself and what it means. I'm going to step through an example of calculating the equation and utilising it. So what is the Hardy-Weinberg equation, or the principle, sorry? Well, the Hardy-Weinberg principle allows us to predict the frequency of the alleles within a population. And it also says that allele and genotype frequencies, they're constant from generation to generation. This assumes no evolution is happening. The assumptions that this model relies upon are the population must be very large, mating must be absolutely random, no selective advantages for any of the genotypes, and finally, no mutation, migration or genetic drift is occurring within that population. So without further ado, we should look at the equation itself. And here it is. p squared plus 2pq plus q, q squared equals 1. Now p squared refers to the number, or the percentage rather, expressed as a decimal, of homozygous dominant individuals. 2pq refers to the number, expressed as a decimal percentage, of heterozygous individuals in that population and Q squared to make up the whole population is homozygous recessive. We also know that there's an extra little equation that goes along with that, which is P plus Q equals 1, where P is the dominant allele and Q is the recessive allele. Let's try and apply this. Imagine we've got a population of pigs in a field. There we go. Now, by my count, there are 1, 2, 3, 4 black pigs and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 pink pigs. Convenient. And we're going to say that the black coat of the pigs is recessive. And the question we're going to try to answer using Hardy-Weinberg is what percentage of the pigs are heterozygous for their coat colour? Hmm. Okay, let's see what we get with this. Our first step we're going to find Q squared. So, Q squared, they're going to be the black individuals, the black-coated pigs, because they are homozygous recessive. So, first thing to do is count the number of black pigs. There's four. And we're going to express that number as a percentage and as a decimal. So there's 25%, there's 16 pigs in total, four black and 12 pink. 4 out of 16 is 25%. Expressed as a decimal is 0.25. Therefore, Q squared is 0.25. It's really, 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 really easy to just write Q is 0.25. It's not. Q squared is 0.25. Remember that. It's important. Moving on. From that, we can calculate Q. All we need to do is square root Q squared. So we take 0.25, we root it and that gives us Q as being equal to 0.5. Excellent. From there, we can work out P, because we know that P plus Q equals 1. So in this case, P plus 0.5 equals 1, and therefore P is also equal to 0.5. From there, we can look at the heterozygous individuals, so that's 2PQ. This is going to get us our answer. So P is 0.5 and Q is 0.5. 2PQ therefore is equal to 2 multiplied by, in brackets, 0.5 times 0.5. So 2PQ is also 0.5 when you uh, when you calculate that through. I'm really sorry if there's a noise in the background. My dog is chewing something and it's very irritating. So I don't know whether the microphone is going to pick that up, but please just try to ignore it. So there we go. 2PQ equals 0.5. Therefore, 50% of that population are going to be heterozygous, because that's what 2PQ is. And that's it. That's the whole thing. All you've got to do is understand which either P or PQ or Q refers to what. 
You've got to identify how many individuals you have, and then you just got to step it through, substituting in the values as you go. Use both equations, write them out as soon as you start the question, and you will be golden. And don't forget to square root to get Q or P, depending on which one you started off with. So that was Hardy Weinberg. If you've got a question that you'd like me to answer or a query that you'd like me to um, try and solve for AS or A2 level biology, please email me at biologybyjp at gmail.com. Pauline and Hesh, I hope that's helped. If not, send me another email and I'll see what I can do for you. Thank you very much. Good night.